Flesh and Blood, Investigation 2, Arkham, Massachusetts, August 8th, 1929. On a wet August morning, you step into the, professor of, into the office of Professor Henry Armitage in Miskatonic University's renowned Orne Library. You're surprised to find no one waiting for you. It was only this morning that you received his call and you've never known him to be late or miss an appointment. You spend a few minutes wa uh, watering Armitage's violets. Forgive my late arrival, Armitage's voice rings out from the hallway. Please don't think that I take your assistance for granted. It's been an eventful morning. His arrival doesn't assuage your anxiety. Late and apologetic? Something is amiss. He hands you today's copy of the Arkham Advertiser, which you've already read. You catch the headline, Night Watchman Found Dead at Miskatonic. The old man wipes the dirt and leaves from his shoes. Three years ago, there was an attempt to steal a very dangerous book from the restricted section of the library. The theft was prevented, but it was clear that more security was required. You think whoever killed this watchman stole this book, Mitchell asks. You put it on top. Before we get to that, there are several de uh, details about the murder the paper leaves out. Unpleasant details, Armitage closes the office door. The corpse was left in a rather grisly state. The attacker removed the victim's skin and his blood. Your anxiety Flesh grows into icy dread. That's in insane, Mike mutters. <laughs> it made perfect sense to someone last night, Armitage shakes his head. This morning I informed a mother and father that someone left their son a mutilated corpse and he had not worked here long. You know I've witnessed so many unspeakably horrific things but that, Armitage struggles for the words. You reach over and place a comforting hand on Armitage's <laughs> shoulder. He takes a moment to compose himself. There's something you need to see. Make sure your shoes are clean and follow me. You wipe the mud from your shoes and accompany the old man down the hall to the restricted section of the library. As you do, you see a distinct trail of dried earth running along the floor. Mm. Was this from our killer? Julie asks. Indeed, Armitage stops at a door bearing a sign that reads, Restricted, no entry. The trail of the mud goes further. When I, uh, when I arrived in the morning, the watchman keys were in the lock and this door was open. The watchman keys, however, will only open the outer door of the restricted area. Armitage unlocks the outer door and switches on the lights to illuminate the overstuffed shelves in the windowless room. A second door with the restricted section provides further protection for the Necronomicon. Armitage glances in its direction, and oddly, the Necronomicon is in a foul mood today. One would think it would be excited. The trail of mud does not cross the threshold of this room. Yes, one would think, Mitchell mutters. You are not sure if Armitage is serious when he speaks of the Necronomicon. Moods? When the Necronomicon, you're not sure if he's serious when he speaks of the Necronomicon's moods, <laughs> but you have grown accustomed to this odd manner of expression. Mike glance, glances quizzically around the room. He unlocked the door, but he didn't come inside. It's very telling, Armitage points to the inside of the door jam, where there are a series of occult protection symbols etched into the wood. As I said, more security was required. The fact that the intruder couldn't pass this door with those protection symbols suggests that it was something other than human. Whatever it is, I believe it will grow more desperate as a result of this failure. Armitage closes the door and locks it. As the two of you walk to the library exit, he says, We must find out what this creature is, what its motivations and intentions are, and most importantly, how to stop it. In uh, Inspector Garrison and his men have collected the evidence from the crime scene and turned it over to Dr. Corbett. He may have uncovered something, and as much as I hate to admit, there is someone else who might have knowledge on this creature. I won't mention the scoundrel's name, the occult expert. You've proven yourself quite resourceful. You'll figure it out, but be careful. We shall work independently. Time is the, not on our side. The occult expert. Armitage holds the front door open for you, letting a hard easterly wind into the library. That easterly wind. That easterly wind. Um, can I have the, the people... What? I have a bunch of stuff. Oh. So Herbert Corbett is the criminologist. He, yeah. he passed a bunch of stuff to him. But and what then, about the occultist? Yeah. Uh, then there's uh, Pascal Fenton, who's That's the occultist. The guy. So, we can go to them. Unvisited Isle. So what did, did you say words? <laughs> Unvisited Isle. So wow. what, is the, what does the occultist have again? He just said some shit in there, right? <laughs> so the, he's, he's an expert on all yeah. things... Not human. Okay. I think we should start with the criminologist. Yeah, I, I agree. Dr. Corbett? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, he has the direct evidence. Yes. And that was passed from. What, do you have the loca his location? Yes. But I wrote it weird. I think it's D25. <laughs> I, can, I can double check. <laughs> What's his name? Somehow? Dr. Herbert Corbett. Corbett? Do, do, do. Do, do, do. 
How do you spell Zombert? C O R B E R T? B E T T. B E T T? He's not there. Okay, criminal. Criminal. What else did you find fishy about that story? Anything? So the back. D45. Oh, yeah, I did write D45. Do you want to write it again? Or <laughs> yeah. yeah. You guys go in there? Yeah. Yes. Go to morning. D45. <clears throat> so with this one, all you need is the number of the location, yes. the location's name, and who you talk to. Oh, and if you go one. back to a location, don't worry about writing it down. Oh, down. No. Dr. Corbett is hunched over several photographs with his back to the door, and yet he uncannily knows that it's you entering his lab. What's fascinating about this case is the evidence we don't have. And I don't just mean the corpse's skin and blood. Of course, no. turns around to look at you, and he's like, why are you laughing? If I were going to steal someone's skin, I'd bring a car if I had one, wouldn't you? I mean, where did it all go? That's the real mystery here. Skin is heavy and messy. We had rain and we had mud. It's the perfect setup to see tire tracks, but there's nothing. He points to a series of photographs of the outside of the library. Mike shrugs, so we walked. He flew. I don't know, but I know he didn't drive. Now, I'm not one to tell you how to do your job, but it occurs to me that it's likely your killer doesn't have a car. And if that's true, I bet he's been in a taxi in the last few days. Mm. Unless he flew, Julie adds. Oh, no, Julie. Julie, Julie, shut up. Julie, we almost had a lead there. All right. Well, this is a hard one. Should we give up? No. I'm sorry. Can you pass me my sweater? Let's get the questions. <laughs> I'm cold. The questions can't be that hard. They'll be like, so... did he drive? Did, did... No. Who was the guy in the graveyard? Oh, man, I can't drive. <laughs> yeah. Either he's got wings and flies. Or he took a taxi. I mean, That's we, what we learned. So we could see if that nice taxi driver, or even not even the nice taxi driver, literally we could just go to the taxi company, or I don't know. I think that the monster that attacked the girl at the Invisited Isle, oh, she's, where is she now? She Wait, was, why do we think he took a cab? I thought they, they would have seen tracks. Like, well, I think that's the thing. There was no tracks outside of the building. There was like no driving tracks inside. The oh. There was no tracks inside. There was tracks inside the building, but there's no tracks outside the building. So, so that's why they think that he just got straight into a cab, or he flew as the. Oh, right. Um. What do you guys think? We, maybe the occultist. Maybe we that's just the wrong side. Before we go too deep down one path, let's kind of uh, give us some options. Yeah. I like that. I'm okay with seeing the occultist. We're probs not going to learn anything more from Armitage, right? What if he didn't take a cab, yeah. but he is a cab driver? He could be. He is a cab. He's, what if he he's is a like, cab? True. Because um, there's also the woman arrested. So she's arrested. So if we go to the police station, we can talk to maybe her that her said her friend got attacked by a monster. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or find El- find her friend that got attacked, which she must be at the hospital. Her friend Elliot? Her friend Miss Elliot. Oh no, Elliot's the one who did the attacking. Well, reportedly did the attacking. Morris is the friend? From the no, Therese Morris is being held in local jail awaiting Miss Morris. Okay, yeah. So Elliot Cousins is the one that got attacked. Okay. So, yeah, that it is interesting. They talk about evidence after that they collected. There's evidence. There's there. evidence of this. So, I mean, we could talk to the police station. We could go to just straight to Elliot Cousins. I still think we should go to the occultist. Yeah, I still say we go to the Get some base too. info, and then we have the option of going to the aisle. We have the option of doing that. Mm-hmm. We have the well, There might not be anything there. If the police are already connected to the evidence, unless the monster's still there, then maybe we take I'm Sandy, waiting. and then we go insane, and we just lose. <laughs> Done. So, occultist? Yeah, occultist. Okay, that. he's. Uh, I have of L4 written down. Is that, that sounds right? It right. does sound right. A bell? <laughs> yep, you got it. I nailed it. Time passes on and you just age and fade away. Now, I did hear about change, that change, Ash and Fang. I'm excited. Uh, it just it seems what? good for people who buy. So basically, you can never get a repeat legendary. 
What? Until you have them all. What? That's good news. That's that good is news. great news. Yeah. All right, L4. <clears throat> For as many times as you've seen the interior of Pascal Fenton's home, it never fails to disturb and surprise this is only the you. second time. Each cabinet on the shelf <laughs> overflows with curios from long forgotten civilizations. Most of these trinkets are obviously counterfeit, but a few seem unnervingly genuine. Pascal uh, points to you to sit in an old soft chair that exhales dust as you sit. Did Armitage send you? Has he finally admitted that that old Fenton might just know a thing or two? Behold, all things are possible. He laughs. I've forgotten more about the unseen world than, I, than that little mouse will ever know. I'm surprised you have so long avoided becoming my student. Now tell me, how may I help you? Given Pascal's fascination with the grotesque, you don't spare any of the detail of the Watchman's death. After you finish the story, the old occultist thinks silently. Tricky, he eventually concludes. There's a cult in the Orient that ritually skins their victims. If they're making an incursion into the Western world, well, I dread to consider what that could mean. Some Turkish immigrants get together for chess at the desolate highway cafe. It might be worth asking them about the Brothers of Skin. You finish taking notes and are about to leave when Pascal stops you. However, that doesn't take into account the loss of blood, nor the susceptibility to Armitage's primitive magical warding. Those elements suggest a vampire. You stare at Pascal, wondering if he's using you to tease Armitage. A vampire? Like in the movie, Mitchell asks? <laughs> exactly. It drinks blood and it fears religious symbols, as well as basic protection like garlic and silver. By the way, did you see that vampire film at the Telenews? The projectionist there is probably well informed on the subject. Pascal strokes his chin. I can't imagine why a vampire would remove a victim's skin. I suppose that's all I can tell you. Good luck. Interesting. I, I think the Turkish guys are fucking dead end. I don't think we should go there. I Confirm also, Mike hates Turkish dudes. Wait, which Turkish guy? Did I miss something? I was, <laughs> I was, yeah, we, we were chat for a bit. We were supposed <laughs> to go to the, Tur there's a Turkish cafe that a bunch of Turks hang out in that uh, know of the brother of skin, no, the brothers of skin. That potentially know something about the skin missing, but he said it does not explain the blood missing. Okay, so, but then he gave the vampire, which explains yeah. the blood, but doesn't explain the, the skin. skin. So it's a, like a combo. Duo. But he also said to go talk to a projectionist at a movie theater about yeah. vampires. So he gave us a few options here. Yeah, I hope that they're good. <laughs> I think once we have maybe some more understanding from other things, maybe one of these could be yeah, helpful. Maybe, I, I but, agree. I don't think we should um, hedge your bets on either of them right now. Yeah. My vote, just throwing it out there, is to try to find the evidence of that other crime that occurred. Which yeah. other? We go talk to the police, maybe? Oh, yeah, about uh, the, the unvisited aisle crime? Yeah. Yeah, so we go to the police station? It sounds like a relevant crime. It does sound like a very relevant crime. Now, that's the question. Isn't police there multiple stuff? police stations? Or am I crazy? No, I think there's only the one. Police. Morris Garrison. There's a detective. Yeah, that's who we should talk to. D32. Uh, let's see, do I have anything else here? No. Armitage, fuck you, mate. Because <laughs> we thought he was our en enemy at first. Yeah. We thought we were, like, competing we so against him. Schools, clubs, transportation. True. Okay, what about this, this book? Do we know anything about this book? The Necronomicon? It mm. has all the information of... Old gods and like, I mean, it's so it can summon them. It's like it's the it's, book. It's, it's called the Book of the Dead. Yeah, there's this librarian that I know of. Her name's Amelia Surgeon, and she she's responsible for the restricted area. Arkham Police Station D32. There's only one police station. D32. Should we go? I think we go to the police station. Yeah, for now, I think that's the safest bet. Okay. What's that librarian's name? Sorry. Amelia Surgeon. She does, I have and research in restricted. restricted area, and she's a librarian. Okay. Yeah, she, that she deals with the, the restricted area. We were just at the restricted area. She is there already. Oh, paper towel. Like, the, the beginning speech thing is that Justin did, that was yeah. where, where we it? were. Right, that was at the library, which is C23. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so no I don't know if we there. go back there. No. I think we've gotten all the information. Pants. I think you're right. Can I have some ginger ale? I think we go to the PlayStation. D32. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Final yeah. answer? Yes. Final answer. Po, one, po, D32. <clears throat> Inspector Garrison looks like he hasn't slept. Uh-oh. It's evening. Oh. Do you want me to look after the track? It's okay. Something's driving the city nuts. 
people are getting into fist fights and animals are attacking folks. For this body at the library, that's just beyond bizarre. Maybe you and Armitage are used to this sort of thing, but every time I close my, eye now, my eyes now, I see that crime scene. What exactly do you keep in that library? He passes you a folder. Inside are, uh, inside are photographs of the body. Your mind reels at the abhorrent image. There wasn't much physical evidence, but Corbett has what we could find. I'll tell you what my instinct says, though. We're going to be seeing more bodies like this, and you can't get away with that sort of work during the day. If there's something rancid in the city going on at night, you can be sure that William Coffin knows about it. You might want to speak to him. Garrison looks you dead in the eye, and for pity's sake, be careful at night. The killer is brutal. Okay, I know William Coffer. He hangs out at the diner. He's shady. Yeah. He likes unsavory places. We, okay. we knew of him. Where did I see Coffin in here? Did I see Coffin in here? Maybe I didn't. Mm. I don't recall here. No, it was Cousin. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start with C. We'll start with C. Makes sense. Uh, okay, so this was our biggest lead. I, I don't know. Talk Coffin. to him at the diner? No. I mean, is there a, ja is there a jail? It sounds like a big. Arrow? What if we talk to this Elliot cousin guy? I I feel like. Can you remind me about Elliot? Can you read it verbatim? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Attacked by a woman. Well, allegedly. Allegedly. Uh, but an altercation on the unvisited aisle resulted in the arrest of one woman <clears throat> who reportedly attacked her friend Elliot cousin. Therese Morris is being held at the local jail awaiting. Um, Arrangement. Uh, Miss Morris asserts that she did not attack her friend, but that a monster attacked Elliot. Evidence was collected from the scene of the altercation. The police assert uh, proved that the two were alone. Where would we even find Elliot? In the phone book. In the phone book. He's right there. No. <laughs> Remember phone books, guys? Yeah, it's right here. Cousin. Good phone books. Yeah, fuck. I mean, if I lose all the information in my phone, I am literally lost, and I won't be able to talk to any of my friends again. <laughs> you won't be able to find your way home. I remember... If I lost my phone, it would be the end. I remember wanting to call my first crush and going through all his last names <laughs> and, like, just calling every single person and trying yeah, is, to... Does Justin live here? Yeah, and then when I got to his house finally, and his mom was like, yeah, I'll go get him. I hung up. <laughs> <laughs> Psychopath. <laughs> Psychopath. <laughs> he is not in here. Excuse me. Okay. He is not in here. William Coffin, yeah. though. Do yeah. He'll give us some William? info. I mean, I, like the, the Morris Garrison was just like, if you need info, see Coffin. Let's. We could try coffin. I think we miss Morris. I think we give him a try. Is it Therese Morris? I'm gonna see if she's in here. Maybe she's he'll... probably in jail right now. She is, but maybe her friend stay is staying at her house. The mm -hmm. friend that got attacked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that maybe the last place she wants to stay. Maybe not though. <laughs> What does Justin think? I can't help you. I know, I'm just I kidding. Saw this one I know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, no, no pressure, but we answered every question correctly at the end of this one. Guys. Wow. No pressure. Well, I feel a little more confident in this one yeah, so far. Training like, I feel like, off. I feel like we've already got more info care. than we did from the first one. Yeah. We know what to expect now. She is also not in here. They've never existed. This is a lie. Probably because they're both Big monsters. news. Big news. I think we should go to Coffin or I vote Coffin. I vote Coffin. So he's a D two yeah. the diner. Yeah, he's always yeah. A, he's a primary. Remember, but this last time we went to him. No, I'm saying we went to the wrong small. diner last. No, no, no. Time. We didn't go to the wrong diner. We went to the right diner. So he had nothing. But he wasn't there. Oh. He was on vacation. That's and he's like, they're all. He's always there. Just go there. He'll be there. And then we went there. and He was on vacation. We're like, fuck him. Yeah. What lives too, Mike? I don't care. If someone says he's always there and this is the game that doesn't have to care about time of day, he should be there. Oh, this one cares about time of day. Does this one care about time of day? Of oh, course shit. it does. Because nighttime things. You going to the coffin? Yeah. yeah let's D2? Go to yeah. D2. Right here. Dawn of the second day. 24 D2. hours remain. 
D2. D2, it says... R2. <clears throat> I kind of figured you would be reaching out to me. William Coffin tits his, tilts his head back <laughs> and drains the last of his coffee. I know some people over in the Arkham Tenements who tell me there's a girl walking around who's supposed to be dead. There's a girl, there's a girl, the girl's named Ellie Hathaway, and in my experience, people don't pretend to be dead without a reason. A lot of people disappear or do strange things in Arkham, wouldn't you say? Profitable for me, since I'm the, in the information business, and people always need information when things are a-brewing. Coffin grins, leaning his head back against the wall of the booth. Word is, pages of a forbidden book or something have been replicated. Things are about to get interesting. What was her last name? Hathaway. Like Anne Hathaway. First name was there with an E. Elliot. It wasn't Elliot. So she's gone missing, and there was a location. Did you write down the location? It was a. Uh, she's gone missing at the. People in the Arkham Tenements. Oh, yeah. Arkham Tenement. Tenement. There's a halfway T in the. I don't think her name started with a T. Ellie. So she's. Ellie. She's. Oh, fuck, I've already forgotten. She's pretending to be dead? We, or missing? She's just saying. She's apparently dead, but she's still walking around. Oh, okay. So there's some funny business going on. And so some pages of a book have also been replicated. Okay. Probably the Necromonicon. 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 Yeah. <laughs> okay, what the hell is she Alright, she's wandering around. Fucking Elliot Hathaway. So that means, because isn't, what was the friend's name? Elliot Cousins? Elliot Cousins. Okay. I don't think it's the same. Uh just happens to be a coincidence. Yeah. Coincidence. There are no coincidences. <laughs> People don't just have the same first name. Well, it's Ellie. Ellie versus Elliot. Oh. Sorry. Yeah. It's two separate. Ellie. It's Ellie. Okay. Um. Girl walking around. And something was replicated. Pages. Probs the necro thing. What about the hostage? Would a hospital be a good... Can we go to the hospital? <laughs> Are you hurt? Mm -hmm. No. I don't feel good. <laughs> okay. So. Um, what are some options here? Medical facility. Yeah, what are our options? Okay. So. We went to the police. He, His thing was... Go see... Dr. Corbett. Also, something about a taxi... He yeah. either took a taxi or flew. Those were his thoughts. We could go to see a cab, the cab driver. I have the name of a cab driver, the dispatcher. The, the, the di well, there's also just the cab company. Mm -hmm. So that's an option. All mm -hmm. right, let's continue. What is this for? What then, happens? from that, we went to the occultist. Oh, we, we haven't gone to Dr. Corbett, right? Have we? Yes. We oh, we did. He was the first. Oh, that's we the first to. person we did. Okay. Then we went to the occultist. He said... Brothers of Skin, Turkish Man Playing Chess. Oh, that's or an option. We can go. Projectionist Vampire Guy. Option three. Option three. Then we went to the police, and he said, go see Coffin, so we did. And now he's saying, he's telling about this girl. So we are, these are what we've come up with. So, and then additional things we can think about. So we could go to the cab dispatcher. We can... Uh, go to the cab company. Cab company, which... Probably. I have a suspicion that it's the same place. It's the same thing? Okay. Uh, what? This this dispatcher I wrote down. And oh, probably. Cab company. Uh, so the cabs or the Turkish dudes or the projectionist. I think those are the three options we have. Pretty much. I feel good about going to the cab company. I agree. Yeah, I think I, the best. I think the best choice is the cab company. Okay, so we're gonna be checking out. I think his name's Arlo Hoppin. He's a dispatcher and a cabbie. He's also a musician, and he's in D thirty four, which is the cabs. D thirty four. And what's his name? Mister Hoppin. Mister Hoppin. Arlo Hoppin. What do you have about him in there? No, he, he he gave the free ride to that. He gave guy. the free ride. Yeah. When was it? So in he might China? give us something nice. <clears throat> he, the guy, this guy's name was Sh Shamus. Was the guy who got the free ride? He doesn't have a last name. Hmm. You guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Arlo shouts to you from across the garage. What's the rumpus, Seamus? His cheeriness seems immune to the drab weather and the macabre headlines of the day. You cross the distance to meet him, and Mitchell says, Your cabbies have any strange fares lately? 
every single day, actually. My boys have been pretty happy lately. A lot of well-to-do types coming and going. Sebastian Lyman and his crowd, if you know what I mean. The Silver Twilight, what are they up to? Mike Fox deposits as a question. I couldn't tell you that, but I know they tip well. Something's got them in a whirl. Hey, uh, if you're busy, why don't you help, help old Arlo shine his tires? <clears throat> so he's been giving rise to Sebastian Lime to the to the, the silver cult. The, the silver guys. The, oh, I said Civil Twilight. It's Silver Twilight. Right? Silver Twilight. Civil. Civil. The Silver Twilight. These are the same guys that were doing the stuff in that building the last time that weren't really that weren't connected to the thing we were investigating. But so there's three suspicious people. There's these guys. There's the Turks, and there's the, <laughs> there's Ellie. We don't want to go see. Giant tires, silver, that's code. <laughs> the Silver Twilight, we don't want to go straight there. Not yet, not until we have more on them, because last time they threw us on a wild goose chase. <laughs> no, 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 we never visited him, because he was very angry. And oh, he right, will, like, kill, yes. he will, like, kill us. Yes, he's... <laughs> no, you can't die in this game. Oh, that's fair, oh, but yeah. I'm sure something bad can so happen. So, like, where do you think it's dead? Like, I'm almost... Okay, what... This whole Turks thing, how strong of a, a lead could this be? Oh, what about the mole that we have that's in the Silver Twilight? Mm -hmm. We have a mole, don't we? Yes, Sebastian Lyman. Oh, that's the guy. He's our mole? Yeah, he's a mole. Oh, I thought... You're thinking of Carl he's... Sanford? Carl Sanford is the leader. He's the leader, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we can go see Lyman. So we could see the mole. Okay, what... But the Turks, so. though. How, how strong of a lead is it? I think it's just as strong as the projectionist at the... What do you guys think? We should go see uh, Lyman? Sebastian I mean, Lyman. Lyman might give us more information. If we even see if even the Silver Twilight is even involved in this whole thing. I'd be down. Yeah, let's go see Lyman. Fuck All it. Right. L18. Love. 18. Sebastian Lyman. <clears throat> Stepping into Sebastian Lyman's living room, you seem to have interrupted a conversation between Lyman and two sinister-looking men seated across from him. He waits for you to join him by the fireplace. I don't have much time to speak to you, I'm afraid, but I have an answer to your question. He points to the portrait of the dour-faced old man that hangs above the mantel. You were wondering about the identity of this man? You've never given the portrait any thought, and certainly have never asked Sebastian about it, but you play along. I was, Julie asked. <laughs> he was a Scotsman from the clan McNaught. Of course, Nott has turned to night these days. Lyman smiles inscr inscrutably. Ah, Julie says. Obviously, he can't talk directly. I'm afraid I must return to my current business. You should find me later, Lyman winks. We can speak again back at the French Hill. And remember to bring that 64 Chateau Lafitte Rothschild you've been promising me. Got it? The 64. You nod, but you're not, you're not sure of his meaning. Lyman must want to meet you within a more private place. I suspect if we go there, he <clears throat> needs the 64 object. We should write it down. Does he need the object, or is it code for, like, he's just, he's, like, winking and stuff. He's, like, telling us. Because it's going to be there's one two, of these things. Like, we show up. I think, I know, I think, I think, because there's two other men he just can't see anything in front of. He's just yeah. joking around with us, joking around with us. I think going to the French Hill. Did he say where? In the, where? Where did he say in the French Hill? We can speak again back at French Hill. Bring the what? And remember, bring that sixty-four Chateau Lafitte Rothschild you've been promising me. Got it? The sixty-four. Chateau Rothschild. Okay, I'll read what he said again. Yes. Yeah. He was a Scotsman from the Clan McNaught. Of course, not his turn to knight these days. So um, I'll give you those spelling of those, Julie. It probably McNaught. matters. It's and a knight. riddle. It's not. I don't think we have to bring them in. Well, we might have to bring them something, but it's a, definitely McNaught a riddle. Mm. Oh, okay. Wait, can I, yeah, can I see that again? Because I have this all spelled wrong. He was a Scotsman. Clan Mac Not. Of course, not. His turn tonight. Whoa. These days. Lyman smiles. Not and then we can speak tonight. again back at French Hill and remember to bring that 64 Chateau Lafitte Rothschild you've been promising me. Lafitte Got it? Rothschild. The 64. Got it? The 64. 
Chateau Lafitte Rothschild. Lafitte? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh man, I was got McNaughty. Chateau. McNaughty. This is your sixth location? Yeah. Chateau La Feet Roth's Child. You can promise. So this is interesting. The 64 CLR. Scotsman just... Clan McNaught. He's not something something. <clears throat> Turn not tonight. He's and remember, bring the 64 Chateau Lafitte Rothschild. The 64 emphasized. Was it was it visually emphasized in the text? Nobody says no. it twice. Oh, okay. he, he says, says, he says the, the 64. 64. The, feature, the 64. Got right? it. Yeah, got it. What do we have any information about? What this is? There a 64 location? I don't. Think, I mean, there's an it, F64. Would it go into? And that's oh, in the French oh. Hill. That is the French Hill. I wish there was a reverse lookup. <laughs> a reverse image lookup. And there's something about French. Well, no, like if it, it listed them and. Drunk man. Oh, the French Hill was referenced yeah. from that drunk man. The drunk man was in. Ooh. Purchased. Wa he, yeah, Mr. Waters was found around French Hill. Wasted. Yeah, last Sunday police picked up a man who was drunk and thought to be without a home. They lifted the unfortunate to his feet and soon realized it was the prominent businessman, French Waters. Do we know where he lives? No, he doesn't live in town. If you no. read the article, yes. he does, he's not. But he owns a few businesses Although in town. not a resident of Arkham, owns several merchant district businesses. Mr. Waters was slumped on the ground, completely taken over by liquor, purchased from bootleggers. Maybe the F-64 is... Do you have his name written down? Who's? The French Waters. The speakeasy. Oh, Mr. Waters, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Do you have the, the, the other directory the, at the back of the book? No. It's all here. Is it all here? Yeah, it's this little cheat sheet. What are you looking for? I, I know this thing like There's the back a speak, of my hand. The speakeasy. <laughs> speakeasy. The speakeasy. It was in like there. The toy? Somewhere. No. Oh yeah, speakeasy. N four. Common but secret gathering. Mm -hmm. N four. N four. Yeah. Hopefully up here somewhere. There's one. There's N three. There's N six. Four. There's four. What a weird system. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Because um, I know the Silver Twilight owns that, or at least frequents it a lot from last time, if I remember. I want to know what this F64 is. Okay, mm. so let's think about this. So, yeah. not tonight. Scotsman Clan McNaught. But he went from not to night, so he went, went. So does that mean he went Scotsman or what? Went Mac Knight, Mac Knot turned to Mac Knight, or it, I think it's like meeting him at night somewhere. No, but it's like spelt like a. Yeah, why was the spelling on that? It was spelt oh. weird. It was Michael Knight. When you're done looking, for, what number are you looking for? F sixty four. F sixty four. There are a lot of pages. There's 64, a, I'll bring the 69. There is a lot of pages. Oh, I see F65. You've seen F65? Oh, there's an F65. What if we go to the French Hill area? Where would we go, though? Yeah, that's the there? thing. We have we, to have a number. Yeah. I mean, is it 64? But is that too obvious, 66. maybe? Okay, it's it might not be. Not on this page. Thanks, Mitch. There it is. M. Valentina. Okay, I think that's a dead end for now because we don't yeah, know that yeah, name. We don't know that name. Okay. Um, what's is there, the is there park? What's the park? Did he did it say it was in the park that he was slumped, or was it just in the French Hill? Just a French Hill. So far. Do you want to look up these last names? Yeah, maybe? McNaught and McKnight. Oh yeah, yeah sure, 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 sure. So the M's. The N. And, I mean, and A? Mm. Well, that or, yeah, either look up Knot and Knight or Mac Knot and Mac Knight. M Mac Knot is the Scotsman clan name. Okay. <laughs> it's confusing, I know. Not though. N A U? Yeah. There's yeah, no N A U. Okay. So it's, yeah. Okay. So Mick. 
We think McKnight. Okay. McKnight. G McKnight. Because F64. Huh? What the oh, fuck? Okay. So there's two people that live, there's more than one person that lives there. Oh, okay. Fuck, should we just go straight there? What, what mean, do you guys think? I mean, there's now like, there's a few references to French Hill because there's the drunk dude. There's now Lyman saying, meet me there, winky winky, later, bring the 64. Yeah. I don't think we have to bring. I don't think we have to bring. I think. Mm, G. G? Can we write G down? Just in G McKnight. Whatever. Let's look at the other ones. What yeah. Let's continue. Okay, so what was the okay, thing so he said? So G Clan McNaught, but McKnight to. Oh. But not went tonight. So he's saying to visit McKnight at G. At. F64. At, at French Hill 64. Probably. Probably. I think so. I'm I think we should go to French Hill. I think we should go to F64. F64. Yeah, I think that's a good place to go. Yeah. Boom, done. You guys smell that fucking weed? <clears throat> no. Yeah, a little bit. I don't at all. So we now are going to F64 midnight. Come, come in quickly, Lyman implores you. Once you're inside, he closes the door and locks it. I'm glad you took my meaning. Miss is currently out of town, and I needed a way to speak with you without being observed. Lyman takes a cautious glance out the curtain windows. Right now, every lodge member is under extreme scrutiny. Satisfied that you aren't being observed, he sits down. First of all, the Orn wasn't the only library this intruder tried to break in last night. The Before, what tried to break in? The intruder. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. He heard Turk. <laughs> <laughs> Before going to Miskatonic, this would-be thief visited the Lodge's private library and was similarly turned back by our protections. Only members of the Order know the location of this library. You have a traitor in your ranks? Julie asks. Lynn sm uh, Lyman smiles grimly. Our oath of our oath of loyalty are very, shall we say, compelling. I cannot imagine any of our living members betraying the secret. Could someone who's supposedly dead betray you? Mitchell asks. <gasps> supposedly dead. Someone dead did betray us, he responds. He wasn't dead at the time, however. In 1793, Jedediah Cahill's son snuck into the big empty house across from the old wooded graveyard. People call it the unnameable. At any rate, it left the boy catatonic. The father was desperate to save his son. He joined our order, hoping to find a way to undo the damage. He stole an ancient, very powerful book from our library, thinking he could use it to preserve his son's life. I suppose it didn't work, Mike recalls Armitage's words about telling the Watchman's parents about their son's death. Worse, says Lyman. When the abomination was discovered, Cahill was expelled from the order and the book was moved to a different city. In the wake of Jedediah's mistake, eight people were found dead, flayed and bloodless. Blamed for these murders, he was burned at the stake. You can see Lyman getting nervous, but you have more questions before you leave. What is in this book that's so dangerous? Mitchell asks. Lyman put his finger to his mouth, indicating the secret he can't tell. I can say it as an earlier version of a text Armitage has in his library. It makes sense that this thing would go to where our copy used to be first. It's a somewhat addictive text. Once a person of particularly, particularly obsessive temperament has been exposed to the book, he'll keep trying to regain it. Also, if he can't get the original, he'll make do with what he can. He may try to, make, to copy the text on the same medium as the original, human skin, but he'll never let it go. What happened to the sun? Julie asks. Lyman shrugs. Noah? At the time, that wasn't the Order's concern. Now I'm hoping you can tell me. I need to leave now. I'll exit out the back door, wait ten minutes, then leave the way you came in. Take requirement cards one and two. Okay, guys, we got a lot of information. This is a good place I, to go. I, yeah, I'm so <laughs> overwhelmed by all of that. I, huh. I can look at these? There's nothing on them. Oh, okay. well, that's boring. So let's just recap what, what happened. Is There was once this kid who was Jebediah's son. Jebediah Cahills. And he, some, he got in trouble or he, he, he was hurt. Know. And then Jebediah... Who wanted to? He stole the book to try to help his son, and and then and then and he and then eight people died. Eight people died, and they were skinned, and their blood was taken. And they were bloodless. Okay. And so people who read this book, I guess they they crave to get it again. Get the uh, book again. Get the book again or something. Blood and skin. Can we have a spelling of his last and name? Then, yeah, and then even spelled. if they can't get the original, they they will write out the pages onto skin. All right, it's C A H I L L. Oh, I was right. Okay. Okay, Hills. Not in here. Okay. It's, um... 
Okay, and then it, then he was saying there's a copy of the text with Armitage. Mm -hmm. And then he said something about people taking... Because wasn't there already mention of some sort of text copied earlier? Something about a text, something was copied. Yes, uh, it was... Um, I, I, I believe... Someone just mentioned that a copy was being made. Yeah, something like that was mentioned. Was it I think it was Sebastian. No, it wasn't Sebastian Lyman. Because we—that's who we just talked to. Who the fuck would have said this? Oh, uh, the occultist. Would he have said that? He might have. Um, that's the only person, person I can think that would have said it. Well, the occultist was the one who mentioned the brothers of skin and to go to the Turkish men. So that could be where where the mention brothers of brothers of skin. Fuck. The brothers of skin. So we go talk to the Turks. It's about time. Or talk to Armitage, but. Because he has a text. See, I have written here that Armitage is just at the the library. Um, uh, Armitage, yeah, his office started. His office is at the library. Uh, like it's in it's in a back room of like C twenty three or something. Yeah, C twenty three. And apparently, yeah. the other part was that more than one library what this happened to or something. Yeah, it was the the and Silver Twilight's private library okay. was broken into first. Which okay. We don't know where that is. And either. he won't tell us, and we probably okay. will never find out. I, I, okay. I vote we go Turks. I I think I. We, it, we could go Turks now. There's I think there's more evidence to Turks than the vampire guy. What if? I'm just wondering because we learned about the Turks early on, and didn't go to them. Is it? I'm just wondering like, what if they give us info that we've already caught up on faster? I don't. I don't. I mean, they're they're basically when it described when it described it is that they would know best of the, where the Brotherhood of Skin is. Okay, then, then so yeah. So we might get a then location case, of where yeah. these people are. Yeah. Okay. Then, uh, yeah, I would say Turks at this point. Do we know where they are? Um, they're at... A, it, uh, find out more from Turkish men playing chess. They're at a cafe. A Turkish cafe. But I don't have that room now. I just remember Mike saying that earlier. <laughs> Was I don't it think across it across the street from a graveyard, or am I making? No, no, no. That was the house that he was just. Lyman was just talking about. There was a house there that Jebediah lived at. Oh, the no. unnameable. The unnameable. Is the it un in here as the unnameable? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is it okay? Who's there? Unnameable. Who's at oh, the other? Actually, yeah. Yeah, it's unnameable house. M three. And that's where that the the dad M3. Jebediah lived. Yeah. Uh, That's where his son went. Oh, or is where his, his son, son went. went. Mm -hmm. oh. I feel like, because there, there is locations where we can get sanity taken from us or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. That will get us, if we go to certain locations, in the end it takes points away from us for going to these locations. This might be one of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's just wait some, some other options. Because when his okay. son went there, his son went crazy, right? Oh, right, 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 right. right, right. 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 Okay. <laughs> so don't go there. But it's good to well, know maybe, where it is. But it's good to know where it is, yeah. Because now we're not going to go there. <laughs> it's also across from Hangman's Hill. So. Uh, Alright. Well, let's not cross it off yet. Maybe we will go there. Maybe because we will. We'll I don't know. Let's just our options here. Uh, okay. Uh, we could go there. Turkish Cafe. We Turkish don't cafe. really know where the Turkish Cafe is. Well, I'm going to look at cafes. Oh, in there's here. Like a section? There's, nice. a, there's a restaurants here. There's a diners. Nope. Uh, restaurants, no. Nope. <laughs> Clubs, <laughs> Clubs. Oh, maybe. <laughs> nope. So I'll I'll save you guys some time. Daughters of the American Revolution. Desolate Highway Cafe. Oh, okay. that's where they were. Yes. My bad. I thought it was just a Turkish cafe. No, it's Turks that play chess at the Desolate Highway Cafe. It's just a normal cafe. Not just for everybody. Turks, Italians, Jews, German people. Are you making fun of me? No, making fun of all of you guys and myself. <laughs> okay, so they're at the... The Desolate Highway Cafe. Uh, so, yeah, okay, so I think we'll, we'll probably go there. Let's, we'll just find Desolate Highway Cafe, N29. Okay. N29, let's just see D visually. Highway. There it is. Shall we go, guys? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh. West Armitage Street. Whoa. Well, he has Whoa. a street named after him? Yeah, it's like an important fucking... N29. 
29. Several immigrants from various African and Middle Eastern nations are here drinking coffee and playing chess and engaging in lively debates. Your discussion with them doesn't reveal anything that contributes to your investigation. <laughs> so I still write that down, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Alright. Just put immigrants. <laughs> yeah. Immigrants. Okay. So that was, um... Oh, what was it? It was nothing. nothing. <clears throat> Fucking nothing. I knew it. Yeah. Fucking Turks. <laughs> Okay. We love JK. 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 Screw your chair in a bit. Oh, I'm not feeling very pretty today. <laughs> yeah. well, okay. I, think I feel every day. I've been to Turkey. So now let's wear our Is Justin Jewish? I no. wish. <laughs> I have a thing. I have a James in his big nose now. <laughs> what? Explains James in his big nose, so. That's fair. Okay, so what are our options? We could go to M3. Foreigners <laughs> stealing your turns. <laughs> Yeah, what? <laughs> we could go to M3, which is where a lot of historical... It seems like this same event happened in the past over in M3. A lot of stuff happened there. Yeah, I, I agree, so but I, I, I... Mike's afraid of I, it. I, I, agree, I see your, your risk, but then what are some better options? Let's, let's hear some other options. Well, I think I think at this point, I think I now, now know that we can 100% cross off the... The vampire protection? The vampire guy at the movie yeah. theater? I'm gonna leave him open in case he's a... No, I don't think so. No, in case what he's a question. Who's the... What's oh. the weird weirdos theory at the Sure, theater? I'm gonna cross it off from our list for places to go. I feel like... Lyman said so many things and I'm missing something from it. Like, I just feel like so much was said in that huge paragraph that we... that something could have got missed. Do you want me to skim it again for you? I would, uh, it, it, or yeah, could, I, could, could I even read it, like, visually? Yeah, sure, And course. you could just cover up things? No, just don't read ahead. Okay, where does it start? F64. F64, okay. Does anyone else want a reading of it or no? Yeah, read it a lot. Okay. Please. Come in quickly. Lyman implores you. Once you're inside, he closes the door and locks it. I'm glad you took my meaning. Miss is currently out of town, and I needed a way to speak to you without being observed. Lyman takes a cautious glance out the curtain windows. Right now, every lodge member is under extreme scrutiny. Satisfied that you aren't being observed, he sits down. Thanks. So did you First of all, the Orn wasn't the only library this intruder tried to break into last night. Before going to Miskatonic, this would-be thief visited the lodge's private library and was similarly turned back by our protections. Only members of the order know the location of the library. You have a traitor in your ranks, we ask. He smiles and says, Our oaths of loyalty are very, shall we say, compelling. I cannot imagine any of our living members betraying the secret. Could someone who supposedly dead betray you? Someone dead did betray us. He wasn't dead at the time. However, in 1793, Jebediah Cahill's son snuck into that big empty house across from the old wooded graveyard. People call it the unnameable. At any rate, it left the boy catatonic. The father was desperate to save his son. He joined our order, hoping to find a way to undo the damage. He stole an ancient, powerful book, thinking he could use it to preserve his son's life. I suppose it didn't work. You recall Armitage's words about telling the watchman's parents about their son's death. Worse, when the abomination was discovered, Cahill was expelled from the order, and the book was moved to a different city. In the wake of Jebediah's mistake, eight people were found dead, flayed, and bloodless. Blame for these murders, he was burned at the stake. Uh, you can see Lyman getting nervous, but you have more questions before you leave. What's in the book that's so dangerous? He puts his finger to his mouth, indicating a secret he can't tell. I can say it's an earlier version of a text Armitage has in his library. It makes sense that this thing would go to where our copy used to be first. It's a somewhat addictive text. Once a person of a particular obsessive temperament has been exposed to the book, he'll keep trying to regain it. Also, if he can't get the original, he'll make do with what he can. He may try to copy the text in the same medium as the original, human skin, but he'll never let it go. What happened to the sun? Noah, at the time, that wasn't the order's concern. Now, I'm hoping you can tell me I need to leave now. I'll exit out the back door, wait 10 minutes, and then blah, 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 blah. So he wants more information on that as well. Yeah. Who, sorry, who? <clears throat> the Lyman. Lyman, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Okay, so it makes a lot more sense to me. Do you want to finish this off? Mm -hmm. oh, sure. Lyman wants more detail on the Jebediah's whole thing, because at the time, they didn't care. I guess the Silver Tar, they didn't care. So maybe we go to M3. So the kid just went into this house and it became catatonic. 
So he, uh, who knows why he went in there, but he did. And then so the dad stole this book to try to save his son's life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in the stealing of the book, it caused a bunch of deaths. Yeah. Okay. So what? I don't know now if M3 is really because that was just a kid going in there, and uh, I don't know. What are some other options? So whoever reads this book, they get uh, they crave more of this book, and if they can't get the original, they can replicate it by putting it onto people's skin, and I think that's what's happening here. So someone is Someone's craving gone. the yeah. original book, but they can't get it. So. What about that dad, like Jebediah, did we find a home for him? He's dead. It, it was, that was in like the 1700s. Oh. Was like, we're in the 1800s? They we're in the 1800s. Oh, okay. We're in the 1900s. We're in the 1900s. No, 1800s. 1929. 1929. Oh, since I was reading that one. Yeah, we're in 1929. Sorry, yes, World War. Uh, yeah. Well, there was something about the World War and it was in the 1800s. Yeah, so it was like, Jebediah was born in, or was in the 1700s, so it's... So could it be this this girl that was missing, this Ellie Hathaway? Was that her who's just suddenly gone missing? Uh, she's the one who is dead but is not dead and is walking around. That's that girl, right? Yep. Ellie. Could it be her who's hunted down this book? Possibly. That's a good lead. Yeah, but we don't know where, where she is. and <clears throat> possible no. to find her. We That's a, a good story. No. There was a but there was Hathaway, a name there was a of Hathaway T a in building here. though, wasn't there? There was a name of like a, a building in that conversation about Ellie. No, they were talking about the French Hill. Ellie Hathaway, she's dead. Something about Arkham Tenements. Yeah, Arkham Tenements. A girl walking around Ellie Hathaway. Arkham Tenements. Yeah, something about that. I wrote that word down. Yes, that was that's what I was thinking of. Okay. No Arkham Tenements. Let's look at T, I guess. T. Tenement Buildings, L14. Where's that? Right there. I mean, it's close to it, French Hill. Yeah. Okay, so this, this missing weird girl like may have something to do with this building. All right, doing L14. So it's a possible lead. L14. Okay, so L14 is a possibility. M3 is a possibility. Yeah. Yeah. Um, seeing Armitage again about his copy of the book. Right, because we he, he has a copy. Yeah. Mhm. Mm it's not an original. Because, thanks, Ash. So, what do we think we could get from Armitage if we were to go there? What's a possible like information he I don't, could give us? He might give us more inf information on his copy. He might just make fun of us again because I think we did this last time. We went back to him in the first one. He's just like, "What the fuck are you doing back here? Yeah, go away." Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My <laughs> vote is for L fourteen. That's also what I'm leaning towards because yeah, okay. I feel like maybe that'll give us more reason to go there if we yeah. need to because right now all we know is like kind of some random history. Yeah. And that sure. someone went in and went crazy. Yep. Yeah. L14? Yeah. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Ellie's house? Possibly. Yeah. Or where's, no, where's Arkham? Uh, if you've arrived at the location during the morning or afternoon, proceed to the supplemental encounters on page 30 and read entry 8. If you arrived at this location during the evening, Read entry nine. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, okay, so we're reading it because we arrived during the day? No, we're in the evening. Oh. We're arriving at night. Okay, perfect. Inside the walls of Arkham's tenement buildings, faulty wiring is causing the dim sconces in the hallways to flicker erratically. You see no one in advance down a long hall. On a table sits a knife with a silver blade. You, without it thinking, you pick it up. Take requirement card five. You proceed to Ellie Hathaway's room on the first floor nearing the back of the building. You hear a sickly, wet, uh, tearing noise from within. Bracing yourself, you catch her culprit in the act, you push open the door. You are stunned to see only one figure in the room. Despite her pale and ghastly appearance, Ellie Hathaway is seated at her dressing table, very much alert and moving. 
The flickering lights make it hard to be certain, but you think she is, isn't casting a corresponding reflection in her mirror. Ellie turns to you and smiles. Well, it's about time you found me. There's no reason for you to trust me, but I cannot see what Armitage is up to while you are away. Oh, sorry. But I see what Armitage is up to while you are away. You cannot trust him. Consider yourself warned. She howled as you run out of the house. You run for some time, not able to clear your head. You are still grasping the knife. Advance the time tracker one, is, one additional space to account for the time lost due to your encounter with a vampire. <laughs> what? Okay, so she's a vampire. So vampires are a thing. Okay, but... could she... Is, how, why do we... We don't really know if she's related to this shit at all. That She could just be like a... A, a random vampire, and yeah. that's also what that could also be the projectionist that probably would have led us there. A random vampire. She could have no, it's vampire true. Act. Yeah, like she. Random act of vampire. Think... We haven't tied her to this. Yes, we have. In a concrete. Well, well we did get concrete. a knife item. We did get a knife. We had so an we item lost item. A, a time, but we, we got, got a, a knife. Cool guys, what should we do? So we have three knife? items. Let's stab each other for fun. <laughs> we have three items. Okay, so she says, "Don't trust Armitage." Are we going to take her ward? <laughs> <laughs> She's a vampire, so. She did you Julie Benz because she won earlier. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. So we could go talk to the projectionist. Bling. There they are. There they be. Thank you. Or this vampire is just like a, a red herring and it's taking us off course. Like, because we had a red herring last time, right? Yeah. yeah. I feel like vampire and skinning and blood, that's a lot of things for a vampire to be doing. I think vampires just want blood. So who else could be Unless wanting this, this book? book Someone read slayer. this book and they're just going nuts. Yeah. Could it be Armitage? It could be Armitage. Oh! <laughs> he read his original book. And it's just cray. crazy. Now he wants the What original. about that drunk guy? Did we learn anything about him? Maybe he's not drunk. Maybe well, he's he was just in cray. The, he was just in the, he was in the French Hills somewhere. Okay, Mr. Waters. That's yeah. his name. Yeah. But he doesn't live here. Oh, right. He just owns businesses. Right. Uh, so he could be at one of the businesses, but we have no idea yeah. what businesses they are. I feel like we're kind of, like, stuck. Yeah. I feel like we're on the like cusp. We something. I feel like... Maybe we need to go to M3 or Armitage. Hands through your armitage. There is a Watcher's R. Well, we didn't know his first name, did we? Um, no. Oh, it's in the newspaper probably, though. What about the young his, girl? His first name is... <laughs> <laughs> well, that was Johnson. Businessman French Waters. His first name is French. Oh. French Hill, French Waters. Mm. Yeah. So there's a Watcher's R. Okay, so we could continue on this uh, weird this vampire. vampire path. Okay, just so theoretically, if we were to go down this vampire path, what is our next option? Is it to talk to the proje projectionist? Not that I think this is a necessarily good path, <laughs> but I, I if we were so. to go there. Yes, I think the next path would be to talk to him and ask him and see what he knows about vampires. I mean, right. fuck it. So let's, okay, now let's. Really, let's we're going to talk to Justin about sci fi shit. Like, this is what it is. Let's tell, tell Katie likes movies a lot. Vampires are cool. They sparkle. Okay, we side car the uh, vampire idea. What now? What else do we do? What is another option? We go on the lot on the lost kid. There was no lost kid. There was girls that needed a home. But when they got a home, and there were dudes that yeah, were looking from Daddy. Oh, well, that was the Shackleton. That Justin's was Shackleton. the new Daddy. No much right on gaming. What's up with you? And before Did, Vampire Ward projection is. There's still this, too. What? There's weird writings. Thing. I think that's one of the crazies. <laughs> <laughs> baby, my baby. Or someone's upset about their missing girls. Hell for right those now, six times Justin. that follow oh, man, six times. Daftar, who like what you like. That's all that matters. Who cares what people My think? baby, my baby, six years old taken. Baby, my baby. Six years old, taken. Hell for those six times that follow six times. There it's must be... good with me, Ray Gun Gaming. There must be an order to this. I'm watching these guys solve a mystery. True. Okay. Let's see. 
back? Like, was there an option we had in the past that we neglected? And I don't think so. Maybe it, it is now our best option. I mean, what if it? Okay, just what if it is a vampire? Because back earlier, vampires can fly, right? Like, you want to take this one? Inside. When they turn into I bats? Mean, we have to ask the projectionist. Well, turn into bat. Yeah, we got. They could turn into bats. Okay. Can we just go talk to this fucking projectionist? I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> Uh, this always happens, aka it's happening the second time. talking to a projectionist. I okay, like where, where was he? The, the bottom okay, of our career where we're <laughs> talking to a projectionist to solve a murder about a monster. Can we? What about anybody? anybody I know, I'm browsing. Other than like going to the library where Armitage is and, and the. And, uh, uh, the the librarian. librarian. That's an option. Um. We've already been there. We've been to the cab. No, she's nothing. We've been to Pascal Fenton. We've been to Sebastian Lightning. No, there's nothing on here. It's either Armitage or Vampire Project Nest guy. Okay, where where is he? Do we know? No. We just have projectionist. Uh, Probably a theater, in a theater. A theater. Some sort of theater. Okay. Um, Amherst Theater. Do you guys want me to re-look up what he said? Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure it said it. I just wrote down there. Telenews. I don't... Telenews? Yep. Yeah. Telenews. I feel like we could just be chasing the vampire goose chase. Let's see where this is. Telenews Cinema. D12 is way up here. Way up here, huh? Jesus. D12. I don't like it, but my vote is to go there. Your vote's to go there, but you don't like it? Yeah. I'm, like, I feel like, okay, that was told to us so early on. I don't like that's I mean, so? I that's good we missed something early, too. Yeah, that's true. I'll go if ever if ever if everyone else wants to go, I'll go. I'll be that I'll be that sway vote. <laughs> sure, I then. I'm also wait, why aren't we going to M three? Are we just like well, we just got lost it? time from that. I feel okay, like we're gonna lose that's gonna be another lo yeah. more time. I'm not overly confident with that. It was just a kid who went there and became catatonic. Like maybe something sure something happened there, but it's not necessarily really. And then his dad and then his dad is the one who stole the book and then went crazy and made okay. another copy of it. Yeah. Okay. Like I bet his dad is the one. Oh no. Right. No, Other centuries. Centuries. Yeah. <laughs> Two but they did ago. say he's a dead person walking around. It's true. We can go to the projectionist. I mean, vampires live forever, right? Maybe he's a vampire now. Let's go to True. D12. We could be... It D12? could be vampires. Could be Ellie. D12? D12. D12. What if it's vampires, though? Okay, so number 10. Wait, this is number... We skipped something. Oh, no, it's because we lost D12. The you guys ready? Mm -hmm. The projectionist at Telenews is more than happy to talk about his favorite movie. Nosferatu! I was thrilled each time we showed it! Fuck I've yeah. become a regular vampire expert in the last few months. Tell me everything, Mitch says to him. <laughs> a vampire is undead. You know, dead but also not dead? <laughs> Neat, huh? It survives by drinking the blood of humans. This grants it unnatural strength and speed. Oh, it casts no reflection and it can't cross running water. It can control nocturnal beasts and transform itself into a bat, wolf, or mist. What will kill it, Julie asks. A stick through the heart? He sees how serious you are about his description of a vampire. Um, you know it's just a movie, right? You stare at him blankly. Well, it depends on what lore you follow. However, I think they all have one thing in common. Something that will kill them for good. Cutting off the head is the only way to be sure. You read Bram Stoker? He says, flirting with Julie. Bram Stoker? <laughs> Stoker? Stoker? It's a, it's a movie game. Okay. Um, okay. Well, so it, it, it so it explains a lot the that it couldn't go into the museum, so there must be flowing water between the door and the Necromonicon. True. He can't cross running water, yeah. right? Yeah. Maybe there's a pipe. <laughs> yeah. Um, when it left, it just turned into a bat and flew away. Yeah. No tracks. It explains the lack of blood and skin. So let's say Ellie is no, the one doing it. No, it explains the lack of blood. Does not. No, not but we, oh, but it, we the previously skin explained thing. the If skin. it's a vampire that is uh, making its own Necromonicon, yes. then that explains it. Yes, that's like kind of my hunch now. I think it's Ellie. 
And I think she's trying to make this book. And so she's eating blood. She's <laughs> stealing skin. people. Yeah. Okay, she mentioned Making Armitage copies, a lot, and we got Armitage's name. Names. Why didn't we go back to Armitage now? I mean, yeah, we C23. still got. I think we go back to Armitage. Gibbs vamp info. <laughs> Sorry, just writing them down. I feel like Justin's laughing at us, and I don't know why. No, you I guys just... go on your own adventure. I think we go back to C. I think we go to C twenty three. We talk to Armitage. I suppose because I don't have another. I don't have C23? another option. Yeah, so how does it work? Because you got to get both C twenty three and C twenty three A, which is actually Armitage's office. Oh, we so get both get, of them. Yeah, for the cost of one time in one location. Two okay. locations for cost of one. <laughs> Good enough for me. Good Before deal. you even ask a question, Amelia Sargent whispers. Professor Professor Armitage told me to creep track of anyone who wanted to get into the restricted collection today. One student came in, Patty. McCullough. That's going to tell you how to spell that because that's a fucking weird name. McCullough? That's the same Patty McCullough who just, McCullough, I don't know how to pronounce this, who just got pulled out of her dormitory and dropped off at the sanitarium. Do you think she's the one? She's just a kid. How could she do something so horrible? And then Armitage's office. Armitage's door is locked as usual with a note stating he is not in his office but at home. On the floor, Smith sits a small vase with a single violet, attaches another note, but this one is by Pasquale Fenton. There may come a time, old friend, when you cease judging me and instead call for my help. Judge not, lest ye be judged. Signed, Pasquale. Darmage is at his home. Okay. What was the student's name? Patty McCullough. C-U-L-L-O-U-G-H. So she's at the sanitarium, right? Yeah. So she was there yeah. in the restricted section. She's now at the sanitarium. I have the location of the sanitarium. Yeah. I keep going down this path. <laughs> or do we go see Armitage at his home? We have two strikes left. We have three turns left. Oh, three. Sorry. We can be on this. Oh, spot. I didn't know yeah, that. At the end of this one, it ends. Or if you're on this one and it advances to this one, that also triggers it. Mm. I feel like we've got most of the story. We're just missing a few yeah. definites. What was the... Did, did he give us a recommended for this one? Oh, no. Recommended check. time? Because um, we we're probably over the recommended time. I just don't remember you saying, I, I hearing it. Um, between 7 and 11 locations. Oh. So we're already over that. Which is fine, I mean... You're only one over it. We're only one over it right now. Oh. So we're only minus one point right now from that... Okay, so I think this new person at the sanitarium, I'm not overly optimistic that she has anything to do with it. I think she's a dead-end lead. Like, it's probably like they send you... I like, first of all, so when we went here, they, they're they telling us... We didn't use any items. They gave us a clue to go to Pascal yeah. Fenton's home, which we've already done a long time ago. So I think going to the library is something people typically do right at the beginning. And then I'm... Wait, now I'm eating my own words here. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Maybe we should have went to the library at the beginning and then gone to the sanitarium, and then that's the real story. <laughs> no, I think it was a vampire. I think we're on the right track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're right. Is is this Patty McCullen another uh, another vampire? Who knows? Do we already... Maybe we, do we have need to find, the whole story. Do we, yeah, we, we, maybe we have the maybe whole story. Maybe it's Ellie. But why? I feel like we're missing, like... Because she's a vampire and she's crazy, and... Yeah. Was the vampire chick the one who got attacked by her friend, says Ash? I don't oh, think I so. I don't no. think so. They had, the, the other one was Elliot. Like, it was a slightly different yeah, name. Yeah, it was Elliot. Elliot Cousins and Ferris Morris. I don't think they're they're involved in any of this. So this Ellie girl... Here's my theory of the whole story. This Ellie girl... I don't know how she became a vampire, but she did, and, and well, got bit by a vampire. That's how you get become a vampire. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And then, right? Isn't that how it works? And then and they're like then, zombies. I don't know why, don't know. but now she's trying to build this book using human skin. Yes. Blood. And meanwhile, while in her mission to do so, she's also drinking blood. Makes sense. And that's why everyone's bloodless. Makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense too. Yeah. <sighs> Do we lose one more point and check the sanitarium and just see what happens, see what the information is? I think out of the out of either going to the sanitarium or to Armitage's home, I think I would rather go to Armitage's home. But I, I don't know. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. 
That sounds right. Yeah, that sounds right. That sounds right. Because she was spelled, Ellie was spouting a bunch of stuff about Armitage. Yeah. About Armitage. And about so hating don't him. Trust him. No, yeah, that we shouldn't trust him, that we're just. And he is his own copy, we still don't talk to him about that. Like, should, we, should we go there? Yeah, let's just go there. Let's just go to Armitage's home. And then that maybe will be the home? last place we go. Not. Okay. Oh, you ate. <laughs> like the back of your hand. You ate? Like the... <laughs> you ate home. Arms. Uh. Home. <laughs> you ate. Like the back of your hand. You ate. Fuck. You find Armitage staring intently at a chessboard. He appears to be in the middle of a game with some absent rival. My opponent thinks he'll win by capturing all my pieces one by one. He gestures at the small figures on the board. There's some merit to the tactic, but it's flawed overall. He thinks I'm playing defense. I'm not. I'm focused on the one thing that matters. Capture the king. With all due respect, you begin... You didn't come here for chess strategies? I'm being allegorical, of course. Armitage turns his attention to you. I'm convinced that the core of this case is the book. That's how we'll get inside the mind of this monster. Pick the allies you speak with very carefully. We do not have time to waste. I would think the sanitarium would result in no useful information. Oh, good. Okay. Did you hear about the attack at the unvisited isle? A man was attacked and the police have a suspect, the girlfriend. She's being held at the courthouse jail, but she asserts that a monster attacked her boyfriend. Lastly, have you been to the tenement apartments yet? We've been to the tenement okay. apartments. Okay, we, we got ran away. Been... We did not go to the courthouse, though. Fuck. I thought there might be a, like a, yeah, a, a jail it. or a, some. And that's the attack you were talking courthouse about. Courthouse and jail. It's fucking right below it. I should have. Fuck. Should we saw go that. there? Okay, so what's the. Co we're just losing like a one point. Yeah, it's, so, if, for example, if he had seven locations, you would lose points for everything you had over seven. And we know he had seven? No, you don't know. But he said he seven says, to eleven. He says So he it's has... probably eight or nine for him. Yeah. And we're already at, a, we're at One, twelve two, or something. Three, four, I mean, we're five, already six, in seven, deep. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we're already losing points for the amount of locations we went to. Do we go to D10, talk to this girl? Because I've i been thinking this from this beginning, it's thin and that. And yeah. then it, everything went away from that, and now fucking Armitage is... Yeah. Just... So, what, what do you think the chances are that one of these questions revolves around that we'll be able to find an answer from this place? Probably. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Let's mm -hmm. go. Fuck it. Let's, Let's go, go to the jail. D10. Jail? Jail. Let's go to jail, guys. D10. The guard brings Therese Morris into the visiting room. Therese is a young, petite woman who smiles defiantly as she slumps down into the chair across from you. Her cheek sports an ugly purple bruise. I assume you want to know what happened with Elliot on the unvisited aisle. Unvisited. Ha! Kids from Miskatonic sneak out there all the time for their drunken orgies. That's what everybody says. I assume that's where Elliot got the idea. We took a rowboat over to the island and walked around the standing stones. We were having a nice time, but Elliot was drinking a lot. It's like he doesn't even care that it's illegal. I didn't drink anything, and yet I'm the one in jail. Anyways, he got drunk and started to get a little, too, get a little bit too grabby, as far as I was concerned. I told him that nothing was going to happen until we were married, and well, that led to an argument, which led to a slap in my face. And boy, oh boy, did I see red when that happened. Boy, oh boy, I socked him right in the face and split his lip open, but that's it. That lawyer of his, Alonzo Ferdinand, says that I beat him half to death. I mean, that's ridiculous. When the police looked next morning, they couldn't find any blood at all. She pauses, apparently reliving the moment in her mind. I couldn't actually see him that clearly. We were just, uh, we had just held a couple of flashlights. I saw the blood from his lip fall to the ground, and the ground just soaked it up. Soaked it up completely. Drank it like a thirsty desert drinks rain. She pulls himself out of the memory. So he passed out. I left him face down in the dirt. I took the boat back to shore, then reported what happened to the first policeman I found. The next morning, I'm the one who gets arrested. You ask her, weren't you connected about what was happening? Weren't you concerned about what was happening to the blood? Didn't that look strange to you? It looked just fine to me. Therese stands and nods to the guard that she's ready to return to her cell. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think okay. there's nothing there. I think we call her a day. Yeah. Well, I think there's something on the visit aisle. I don't want to go there, but the blood just falling and then disappearing is, I mean, is weird. It's, just, it's like ground that's just blood drinking ground. I don't know. What if a vampire went there afterwards to just suck the blood? All right, and then let's just answer questions. Yeah, you fine with that, Julie? Yeah, I don't know how much information we have, but it should be good. I think we have good, good memories. All right, you guys ready? Yes. I don't know about that. 
Yeah, we, we're okay. All right, Rachel, you ready to answer these questions one by one? Yeah. All right. What kind of creature killed the night watchman? The, vampire. Yes, vampire. Cool. Vampire. Do you want to write these down? Really? <coughs> yes. Oh. And get that red pen ready to score marks. <laughs> what it was, says as we write down a wrong answer. What was this creature's <laughs> name? Ellie. Ellie. Ellie, yeah. Well, do we have a last name? Oh, um... Uh, hey, uh... Hathaway. 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 Oh, my foot is numb. Mm-hmm. Fudge. Oh, oh! Who is Jedediah Cahill's living descendant currently in Arkham? Currently in Arkham. So there, he has a descendant that's in Arkham. What, is it Ellie again? Maybe it's Ellie. No, it's not Ellie. Uh, I can look at the directory? No. Noah? No so dead up yet? Yeah. Can I look at the directory during this? No. Okay. Okay. So actually, we... maybe you can. I'll look. The kid went catatonic. Encounters in newspaper. You can read the directory. The, the kid went catatonic. What's his last? What's Jebediah as well? What was his last name? C A H I L L. C A. Sebastian Lennon says they don't know what happened, right, to the kid? Yeah. Does oh, it, no, I already looked up his last name. It's not in here. Time-wise, could it make sense that it's still that kid that went catatomic? I mean... What do you mean? Uh, Jebediah's son, who yeah. Jebediah was trying to save. Yeah. We don't know what happened to the son. No, but... Is it possible that it's the son? I mean, if he was a vampire, yes. But even a normal human, I don't no. remember the timeline. Even, let's say this kid it's was one sh- years old when he died, <laughs> and now he's 110. Could it be No, possible? it's 200. If it was, ni- if it was, seven, if it was 1701, <laughs> it's been 228 years. 228. Seems legit. If no, it was at the, even if it was at the end. So even at 1799, it would still be 129 You years. can't look at that newspaper, by the oh. way. Oh, okay. I was yeah. looking at that. Yeah. Should we say maybe it's, maybe it's... Maybe it's... Ellie. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Ellie's a girl. Uh, but it's just... Yeah, the question wasn't which boy. It's just his descendant it's living. which descendant living. Oh. Yeah. But who else could it be? It could be Ellie. It could be fucking... Projectionist? <laughs> I don't, I don't think we met them. I, I think you're right. I, I, should I put Ellie? Yeah, let's put Ellie for now. Um, yeah, sure, put Ellie. Oh, wait, is it minus points if we get it wrong? No, no. 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 Okay. We okay. Just don't she go. might as well guess. Ellie. Yeah, might as well guess. Uh, where can the creature be found during the day? Fuck. We went at night, <laughs> and she was in her home. And I bet if we went in the day, she wouldn't be there. Maybe. And we would have found home. something. Maybe. We should have just gone back there yeah. the next day. We possibly, should have. Possibly. I think maybe you're right. Maybe during the day maybe. she's at Unvisited Isle. I mean, is that where we found most of, is that where most of the bodies have been or no? No. no. None of the, the none of the bodies have been there. Oh. <laughs> well, she can't be out and about running around. Where else could it be? Maybe maybe three. Maybe the un the unknown house or the unnamed the unnameable. The unnameable. I think we've bombed this one. Yeah, let's go. The unnameable. Let's put the unnameable. unnameable? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Unnameable. Why is the creature there? Oh, fuck! <laughs> Can we change your answer? No. The, um, oh, because... She's creating the book. Maybe she's she created... We didn't see anything of the book yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. here. Yeah, that's yes. where she creates her book. But wait, chat, guys, don't read chat right now. Okay. Sounds good. Because... Okay, what? They've, 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 they've figured out things that you guys haven't. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay, we won't read it. <laughs> Not reading it. Next question. Um, where did the creature take the skin of its victims? Oh, fucking number three. Unnameable. <laughs> 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 really? That's what we determined, oh, right? Shit. <laughs> oh. Okay, should I put unnameable? Because I mean, I, where else that skin? Guess. That skin can't make. Uh, do you mean like? Can, <laughs> That's all I can ask you guys. Yeah, we're gonna put our name on both. We've stuck to this story. We have to stick with it. Exactly. Okay, okay, okay. So you're seven. Yeah. What is the creature doing with the skin? Oh, making turning it, it into, making making it into, it into, it into the, the book. copy of the Necronomicon. Yeah, you know, Jesus, guys, creating the book. I'm. It's, I'm it's, okay. The Necronomicon. Book and Necronomicon. I'm will creating the book. I'm name will creating the book. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt all of these are right. Uh, eight. Whose blood revived the creature? Oh, for fuck's sake! Guys! Guys, we bombed it! I told you! We I just shit the bed, you guys! 
I'm so pissed. I thought we did so good. We were doing good. I think what happened oh. at the end. Uh, Elliot. Elliot. Whose blood revived it? Elliot Cousin. It, it got the missing girl? Yeah. No, no, yeah. She's not missing. <laughs> hey, it's a boy. Oh, wait. Yeah. It's a boy, yeah, but his blood yeah. got sucked up into the dirt. Yeah, he did it. Elliot what? Um. Elliot Cousin. Yeah. Elliot um, Cousins. Okay. She was from right at the beginning. Elliot. Elliot yep. Yeah. It's just Elliot I have, but you're right. It's been, it's been cousins. cousins the whole time. Where did Jedediah Cahill bury his son? <laughs> the the graveyard. <laughs> Unvisited Isle. Is right. Okay, <laughs> so I visited Isle. Fuck it. I visited Isle. I'm so pissed. I'm so mad. I'm not mad at any of you, though. <laughs> um, I'm just mad. Why did he bury him there? Oh, fuck. Because it's unvisited. No one's going to go there. Because he was hoping that. Would he. Are we. Are we allowed to change our answers? Anything? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. yeah still is working. it possible that it, it, it was his son that's still the living descendant and uh, Noah? And, but he's like a he's, he's a, vampire. a vampire now. Yeah, let's put Noah. I feel more confident in Noah. Oh, Do you know that know what question that was? Um, it must question have been, two. I think it was. What three. was the creature's name? Oh, that's no, that was the creature's oh, name. No, the, the descendant. descendant is the descendant. That's yeah, three. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. So uh, yeah, we could. His son was buried. He just the last question Noah. is his son was. Uh, oh, true. <laughs> I mean, yeah, 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 but, but, but living, I mean, could be I wandering. I'm putting. What do we put for where he buried him? Yeah. Why? Right. No, ten was why. Acro why buried him at the end of the day? Oh. I said because he he was catatonic. <laughs> he buried people <laughs> like that. <laughs> Uh, I mean, maybe his son turned into a vampire, and he, yeah. the only way to kill it is to cut off his head, that we learned that. Yeah. Maybe he didn't do that, and maybe he put him in a box that, <laughs> that, that was, like, locked up. And yeah. He, he didn't want to kill him. Write all that down. He didn't want to kill him. Uh, okay, so, <laughs> I'll, what do I, okay, well, I'm gonna put a fucking box! <laughs> no, 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 I think, uh, wanted to hide his son, like, he, he, hide! Hiding! <laughs> They're playing hide and seek! Okay. I'm sorry. Just, I'm just gonna put fucking. We didn't use any items. Headless or dead. Maybe we can get points for having. Yeah, this. fuck these things. <laughs> Kids, dead. Dead? <laughs> he buried them because he's dead. No, no, no. Why did he bury him at the unvisited aisle? Was oh. the question. Oh, because that's where. He, it's, uh, I think I think it's because he wanted to hide the body. To, yeah. So that hide. he did, hide. Because maybe he didn't kill the, him. Hide maybe, the yeah. body is a good answer. <laughs> 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 What caused Jedediah Cahill's son to fall into a catatonic state? Okay, we know he that. He went to the house. He went to M3. Nah, yeah. <laughs> the answer is, a, is what the fuck happened at M3, which we don't... Well, 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 Maybe there was a vampire there. Why didn't we go there? Did we not go to M3? He went to M3. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guys ready? No, fuck, go! Oh. Wait, right. wait, 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 wait. Time for you to start scoring should yourself. We, should we specify what M3 is? Uh, well, you know, I think that, that's, that's good enough. We know. That's Is it? Enough. Okay. Yeah. We named it everywhere else. <laughs> All right. Can we look at chat yet? You ready? No, let's, let's, I want to keep it a surprise. Yeah. What kind of uh, creature killed the Night Watchman? A vampire. Nice. Two points. <laughs> oh, thank God, What guys. was this creature's name? Noah Cahill. Three points. So you got zero. Oh. So Noah was brought back to life. Yeah. yeah. Who is Jedediah Cahill's living descendant currently in Arkham? Rachel Kaufman. Oh, for fuck. No uh, where can the creature be found during the day? In the basement of the Nathaniel Wingate Peasley Apartments. Great. Why is, there? The, why is the creature there? You can just put on name book? No, creating oh, the book. Creating the book. Uh, <laughs> they were built on the site where its home used to be. Okay. So uh, where did the creature take the skin of the victims? To the basement of the unnameable. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank God, God guys. Three points. Three. Good. Sick. What is the creature doing with the skin? Using it to make a book. Five Fucking points. Woo. Love it. Whose blood revived the creature? Elliot Cousins. Two Ooh. points. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Where did Jedediah Cahill bury his son? On the unvisited aisle. Three <laughs> points. <laughs> Why did he bury him there? So you guys should have listened to the projectionist. Okay. They can't cross running water. Oh, so zero we did points. listen to him. But that makes so much that sense. That makes sense. We didn't really know, though, for that question. Man, for what God. caused Jedediah Kill's son to fall into a kind of tectonic state? The unnameable. Three points. So I'm three, yeah. Um, oh, we got so three? Yeah, three points. Yeah. Okay. Uh, count the number. So add up your score. 
Um, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 15, 16, 17, 18. Um, subtract every uh, point you point one point per location beyond ten locations. So two minus two. two. Uh, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Three. So minus so. three, so we're at fifteen. You win. On the following page, you may read the locations armed and fidgeted. Anything Jesus. And in closing. Items. No, those are in the requirements. Like those are in things. So like if you so with this information, the one and the two. If you guys went to the historian. She would tell you about the Cahill family. Oh. The historian. The historian oh, of the family. Person. Yeah, that one required a bit of yeah. outside of the box. In Armitage's study of fire crackles, inviting, invitingly in the fireplace, you allow yourself to enjoy the simple pleasure despite the object sitting on a stand between you and your mentor, the Necronomicon, the strange book that was so central to this case. You can feel its powers, its hunger for blood and destruction. Flesh and blood, your mentor says into, a quiet, uh, says into the quiet. Back... In 1793, there was nothing Jedediah Cahill wouldn't do to try to save his son. How noble. How ruinous. It is fortunate that Mr. Lyman was willing to share what the Order knew about the Cahills and their history. The knight lives in the square between the tower and the church, or rather, the rook and the bishop. After Noah Cahill's encounter with the unnamed will left the child unresponsive, Jedediah joined the Order and stole their copy of the Necronomicon. It is said that the text must be written on human flesh. Using this book, Jedediah marshaled dark forces to restore the boy. The results were monstrous. The boy rose again as a vampire, hungry for blood as well as an overwhelming compulsion to possess the book that had birthed him. However, the Order had reclaimed their property and moved it. So the creature began to make his own book, using the skin of his victims for the pages. Mob justice blamed Jedediah and burned him at the stake, but not before the Elder Cahill had managed to put an end to his son's reign of terror. But Noah's sleep was not to be eternal. The monster returned after 150 years to resume its terrible work. By day, it slept in the basement of Nathaniel Peasley Apartments, where its home had once been. By night, it took its victim's skin to the unnameable and tried to fashion them into the pages of its own book. The sun has risen, you interject. So it has. Armitage stands and collects the crowbar and axe that were leaning against his chair. Decapitating the beast will be a grim bit of business, but it is pleasant to think about, Ra uh, but it is pleasant to think about Rachel Cowthan, a descendant of the Cahills. I'm given to understand she has seven grandchildren in Boston. Two of you stand in silence for a moment. Family can be good, you say. Indeed, Armish points to the Necronomicon. Let's return this to its proper home and get on with our task. Nice. So we actually didn't do as bad as we thought. <clears throat> How did he cross the island to get to the present day? There was a rowboat there that they left. Mm. There was uh, there's multiple robots in there because kids go and have drunken robots. orgies. Hmm. We didn't do that bad. So our biggest miss was the historian. Yeah, if you guys got that, it would have and we just we didn't. Did, we it, did you guys do that? You we had 27 points at the end of this one. Holy Ooh, shit. How did you guys do so? We got bad? everything right, and I think we only lost like one point from from time. So what did you do that was deep? So what we did, did is we first went to Corbett, then we went to Pascal, yeah, then we went to the cabs, mm. okay, um, and uh, or something like that. But right. after the cabs, we went to Lyman's. Yeah, we went to McKnight. After that, we went to the historian. Oh, okay. You went to the historian. We went to, yeah, we went so, to, what led you to the historian? Well, the fact that there was this history and none of our other leads seemed good. Oh, okay. We also felt pretty oh, okay. quickly that it was a vampire, mm. not the the Flesh Brothers. Mm -hmm. because we weren't really convinced by them, were we? You did go to them, though. We did go to them. Yeah, that we, was the Turkish guys. Oh, yeah, we went to the Turkish guys. Yeah, we were dead end, yeah. We wasted That's okay, years. though. We didn't do. No, you guys, you guys, you guys won. Right? You guys won the encounter. That's yep. all that matters. I feel like some matters. of these questions we kind of guessed and got lucky. <laughs> well, I we feel like we just weren't as confident yeah, no, like, in the island story part. Yeah, the I island like part, like, new... um, this one, like, just the, basically this one, the Unvisited Isle was the only one you guys kind of just were like, this seems like the place he was buried. Yeah. Right? And it wasn't yeah. really well, guessed. I mean, it was just kind of like an educator. If we had known more from the historian, we would have it probably said a little bit educated. more <laughs> about what the projectionist said. Other than, because when, when the projectionist was talking, we were just like, okay, thanks. Yeah. But we probably would have Yeah, because we to. never went to the historian. I mean, the projectionist. But when we were doing the questions, Bryn said vampires can't cross running water. Right? Mm -hmm. Because it's just yes, stupid yeah. vampire lore. Right? He was, he's the stupid kid protectionist. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, like we were able to track cool. down we did it, Rachel. Guys. And uh, you guys are gonna, I think you guys are going to beat us in the next one. And then the one after that we did, it was fucking hard. And we, that was the first one we lost. Because mm. like... That's good news. Did you know how you got to Rachel? 
Yeah, it was through that. No we found historian. the historian. Ah. Then she said, uh, this is where their the family last name, used the new to last be. Name, yeah. yeah, like this is the, yes. the new person. This is where the house used to be. Then we went to the house and we met Noah. So we each met a vampire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, but Ellie was the right, right vampire. No, it was just, so we just some random were just vampire. missing. Just some random vampire. Some random vampire. Yeah. There was two there's three vampires in it. There's Ellie, the student, and Noah. Right. The student is a vampire. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Which we had suspicions she was, but I didn't think she was part of the story. It's a good thing you guys didn't go to the unnameable one because they just would have found pockets of skin. Yeah. Yeah. And they would have been like, See? Oh yeah, that's a good call. Which would have just told us. We would have lost that, time, probably. You would, like, we, you would have lost created. a point at the end. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And it would have just told us what we already thought, which was that books were being made there. <laughs> yeah. Out of skin. Oh, it was fun. Yeah. That was a Stressful. fun Stressful at the end. It's crazy to see how, like, just the different routes. Yeah, the different paths. Because, like, we never went here. I didn't even know there was a vampire in there. But now it was like, oh, shit, there was a van in the Tenements building. Oh. Because <laughs> we never went there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we got stuff out of it. We got an item. Yeah, I bet if we went during the day, we would probably found nothing. I bet it would have been just empty. yeah. That's yeah. my guess. I agree. It would have because sucked. when we went to the when we went to the place that this guy, the Noah was living, we went during the afternoon and there was nothing. And then we said, "Oh, why don't we just go back in the evening?" And they were like, "Oh, fuck! It's a vampire." <laughs> hmm. Do you want to press F eight, Julie or Mike? 